hello, 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 and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm so glad you are too. Assalamu alaikum and hello friends. Welcome back to story time with Miss Bake. My story time pals and I are so excited that you can join us. We have a story for you today. Are you ready? So come on, let's begin. Our story is called, It's Good to Have a Grandma by Mary Ann McDonald and illustrated by Priscilla Burris. Mom and Dad, if you have a copy, follow along with us. If not, check out the link below to get your own. It's good to have a grandma because grandmas aren't in a hurry. They have time to catch lightning bugs and to skip and to blow bubbles. What's the rush, my grandma always says. Grandma, grandmas know things. They remember the way the world was a long, long time ago, before you were born. They can tell you what cars and telephones were like way, way back when they were little. Grandmas help because sometimes moms are too busy to go sledding or jump in the waves or fly kites. Grandmas let you help too. They let you shine their glasses. They let you feed the cat. If you spill your milk by accident, grandmas say, never mind. Every, everyone spills things sometimes. If you make cookies, grandmas always eat at least one. Here are some things grandmas like. Seashells, flowers, stars. They know the names of some of them. If you drop popcorn into the cracks in the couch, grandmas don't yell. They never say, you'll spoil your dinner either. If you want blue frosting on the cake, grandmas say, sounds good to me. They never recycle your pictures, even the splotchy ones. Grandmas like to take you places like the beach and berry picking and on the roller coaster too. When they take you to work, they make sure you meet all their friends. Grandmas love shopping. They can spend hours looking at goldfish and lightsabers and jewelry boxes with fairies inside. They know choosing takes time. I read to my grandma. She reads to me too. Sometimes we go swimming together. Once she showed me how to jump off the diving board and touch the bathroom of the pool with my toes. Sometimes we go swimming together. Once she showed me how to jump off the diving board and touch the bottom of the pool with my toes. Grandmas don't mind waiting for the ice cream man. Yippee, they yell when they hear the, his bell. My grandma likes to eat hot dogs on the street too. She buys one for each of us. We hate sharing. One time, my grandma helped me bury my parakeet. We put cocoa in a shoebox and dug a hole in the backyard. Then we held hands and said all the nice things we could remember about her. We sang a song we made up. Some names grandmas call you are Honey Bear, Sweet Potato, Angel Pie, Precioso. Here are the things on my grandma's desk. A magnifying glass with a silver handle, a shiny paperweight, pictures of me, mom, grandpa, and Aunt Allie. Here are the things in her handbag. Keys on a sparkly chain, a telephone you can play games on, lipstick, and mint. My bed at grandma's house has twinkle lights. It has a soft blanket too. On rainy afternoons, grandma and I make, tent, make a tent under her table. At night, we play flashlight tag. In the morning, we make cinnamon toast together. 
We tell each other our dreams. I don't remember when I didn't have a grandma. I guess I always did. We miss each other when we are apart. When she calls, I say, I miss you, grandma. I miss you more, she says. Sometimes we send postcards. My grandma has been to lots of places. Paris is her favorite. Someday I'll take you there, she promises. What's the rush, I say. Grandma winks at me. Race you to the swings, she says. What's the rush? There's always time to grow up and have fun with your grandmas, isn't it? They have lots of wonderful adventures that they talk about and they love you very, very much and they think you are absolutely special. What are some other things that you do with your grandma? I cannot wait to find out. I hope you enjoyed today's story. Until next time, see you soon. Bye.